When I was younger, I loved puzzles. And that's one of the things I really enjoy about strength training, taking a unique problem, an individual with a complex training and injury history, and helping them achieve their goals safely and efficiently. The process is often similar in each case, with subtle variations leading to big changes in results. The first step, though, should always be to build a strong base. Once the foundation is complete, you then need to identify which weaknesses the individual has and how much emphasis needs to be placed on each component of fitness, be it hypertrophy, muscular strength endurance, maximum strength or cardiovascular capacity to allow them to achieve more specific goals. Then you can start to specialise, focusing on power, power endurance or speed. Normally, it's at this point that people begin to plateau, not as a result of having reached their limits genetically, but as a result of minor imbalances preventing further adaptation. To fix this, we must deconstruct the movement, allow ourselves to step backwards briefly, moving through a similar process to before, taking ourselves closer to reaching our long-term targets with each cycle, until we make it. But what then? We don't just stop, we set more ambitious goals, constantly shifting to meet new challenges in both fitness and in life.